Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Georgia Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us today. While our attendees stroll in, I'm just going to go through a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use as attendees the Q&A button to answer, uh, on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and your microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Therefore, the only way to get your questions asked and answered is through that Q&A button. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And this presentation is being recorded and will be made available within about a week at the same website where you registered. So without any further ado, I'd like to turn it over to our presenters, starting first with Kennesaw State University. Awesome, thank you for that. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Well, I'm sharing my screen, hope, hope you guys are good. Um, my name is Keanu Graham, I'm an admissions counselor with Kennesaw State University. I have my colleague, Samantha Class here with me. Uh, we're gonna give you guys a short presentation of information and then feel free to ask the same questions that you need as this goes along. I'm gonna turn my video off. I'm a talker, I talk with my hands. And let's get rolling. So thank you, uh, welcome Future Owls. We're excited to have you guys um, here today to learn about uh, these post-secondary opportunities. So there's some things that people might not know about Kennesaw State, but first things first, gotta address the elephant in the room. COVID-19, obviously a big deal. We're trying our best to work through it. Um, if you have major questions, you can go to coronavirus.kennesaw.edu uh, to see everything that we're doing and how we brought students back this fall um, in a safe manner and how we're gonna keep doing things in the future uh, to respond to the pandemic. So quick facts about Kennesaw State University. We're actually at 41,000 students currently, which is pretty big uh, considering where we've been in the last couple of years. My freshman year, we were, we were about 24,000 students. I am an alum, which is pretty cool. Um, we have two Metro Atlanta campuses. If you guys know, we have the Kennesaw campus and then we have the uh, Marietta campus. I'm the STEM um, liaison for all STEM programs down at the Marietta, but we have a cool mix of liberal arts and STEM programs, 300 clubs and organizations. You can join a lot of different things to get involved on campus, 150 undergraduate, 150 degree programs ranging from undergraduate to doctoral, ranked number 14 by the US News World Report. Um, on a list of college where students are most eager to enroll, meaning uh, if, if you get accepted into Georgia State, UGA, and Kennesaw State, you're most eager to enroll at Kennesaw State. Pretty fun. We are a Division I institution. I played football myself, really enjoyed my time, uh, and we have a 21 to 1 student to faculty ratio. That's a pretty big deal when you're looking for a more intimate class setting. To talk about some of the majors, colleges within our colleges, we do offer education, business, humanities, and social science. I was a public relations major, had a lot of fun there. Science and math, so that ranges from biology um, to applied uh, statistics, um, to applied mathematics, college of the arts. If you're an artsy person, we definitely got a place and a home for you. Um, and then health and, uh, health and human services. So if we're talking about nursing, if you're talking about um, exercise, science, social work, that's gonna be where you're located. Now, like I said, we do have those STEM programs as well. So architecture and construction management, that is a good major. You got to have a certain GPA to get in there. Um, computing and software engineering. Some majors stretch across both campuses. If you come to KSU, I would definitely implore you to take classes on both. It's a good time. Um, humanities, just one major. Uh, won't, won't dive too deep into that. And then um, the Southern Polytechnic College of Engineering. Uh, the Marietta campus used to be Southern Polytechnic State University, a great STEM um, and engineering school. We picked up that university in the consolidation. We now have um, that moniker to honor the engineering program. To talk about freshman admissions, we're pretty simple. Um, you go to admissions.kennesaw.edu. If you're familiar, it's going to take you to Georgia Futures. Our application is housed within Georgia Futures. You'll send us your transcripts and your SAT or ACT scores. A lot of ambiguity around testing currently. Is KSU test optional this year? Yes, we are. Woo! 2.6 academic GPA and above. We do recalculate that GPA. We just use your core classes, maths, foreign languages, sciences, social sciences, and your Englishes. We use those and to calculate your GPA, if you got the 2.6 and above, you're good to go. You're going to be admitted. We just gotta verify that you're taking the proper courses to graduate. If you have a 2.5 or below, you do have to submit testing. Hopefully some more testing opportunities will open up in the spring semester. So that way, if you do need to test, those opportunities will be there for you. Um, feel free to ask us questions about that if you need to. These are our deadlines. We have a priority deadline coming up in November. So if you guys wanna check that out, if you get everything in in November, 
you will have by November 2, you'll have a decision by December, which puts you in line to uh, apply for scholarships, get housing and potentially early orientation. So I'd, I'd highly take advantage of that. Um, transfer admissions, I don't know how many of you guys are fully full transfer students, but if you guys are dual enrolled at any institution, please send us those transcripts as well. We're going to need those for your admissions decision. You cannot leave those out, can't omit them. We need them so we can add them to your course record. Um, these are our transfer deadlines real quick. If you're interested in the Honors College, I highly recommend it. Um, in short, there's a couple of great Honors cohorts that you can join. It's very rigorous when it comes to your prereqs. You get to bump elbows with a lot of cool people. You get to make friends with the president of the university, but a lot of cool uh, people, Fortune 500 companies, things like that. Um, and then you get priority registration, which means you get to make your schedule before anybody else on campus, before athletes, before seniors, before everybody, you get to make your schedule work for you, not work around your schedule. Scholarships is a big deal. Obviously, we got hope in the state of Georgia. So if you're an in-state student, you can get that. Zell Miller is a big deal, covers 100% of your tuition. Hope covers at least 90% of that tuition. And then, like I said, with our university scholarships, we have an umbrella scholarship application, meaning if you fill out one application, we automatically consider you for all the scholarships available at KSU. So you fill that application out. Um, at the peak last year, all those scholarships were up to 486, but those 486 divvy out to thousands of students. So it's not just 486 students getting scholarships. We'll skip this. We'll kind of, we can walk you through the next steps. We do have housing and residence life, which is pretty cool. Uh, both campuses, so you can always talk to us about that, or contact housing. Beautiful dorms. I stayed on campus three years. You can always catch us for our virtual tour. We're willing to share that link with you guys if you ask us a question in the chat. Um, really cool. I feel like it's the best in the country, to be honest. And then you can catch us on social media. So we do a lot. We do a lot of takeovers on Instagram. Ask, answer a lot of questions. You can always reach us. And most importantly, you can always reach out to us um, at the admissions office via email or via, via phone. Uh, that's at admissions.kennesaw.edu. And that's all I got for you guys. Great. Thank you so much. Let me share my screen now to show the schedule. And next, we'll move on to Miles College. Okay, hello, how are you guys doing today? Let me share my screen. Oh, sorry, the thing's in the way. All right. Hello guys, my name is Tavares Hanley. I am one of the admissions Uh, Miles College is located in Birmingham, Alabama, um, about two hours out from um, Atlanta, Georgia, 15 minutes out from downtown Birmingham, down Highway 20. So about Miles College. Miles College is a senior private STEM liberal arts, historically black college founded in 1898 with roots in the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Um, the college motivates and prepares students through committed faculty to seek knowledge and that, um, that leads onto in, um, intellectual and civil empowerment. The Miles College education engages students in rigorous study, scholarly inquiry, and spiritual awareness, enabling graduates to become lifelong learners and responsible to shape the global society. So in short, we are a STEM institution. We are a historically black college, um, one of the only four black colleges in the Birmingham metro area founded in 1898. So our admissions requirements. With us being founded by the CME Church, we take a holistic approach to admissions here at Miles. So we do not require a specific ACT, SAT, or GPA for admissions. We do for scholarship reasons, but for admissions, as long as you submit an app, www.myexperience.miles.edu, or submit a hard copy to one of the admissions counselors um, and submit an official transcript, you can get into Miles. Applications are absolutely free. So again, we want students to submit an application to www.myexperience.miles.edu or submit an official transcript, or you can also send those documents to admissions at miles.edu, or you can mail them to Christopher Robinson at P.O. Box 39800, Birmingham, Alabama 35208. And if you haven't taken the ACT or SAT test, you will be required to take an Accuplacer test um, your, during your freshman orientation. So scholarships, yes, we have academic scholarships are available and our scholarships are stackable. We have three scholarships, the first of which being the Bridge Scholarship. Um, the ACT and SAT requirements are only proof of testing. So we just wanna see that you attempted the test. 
The GPA requirement for that particular scholarship is a 2.75 to a 3.1, and the payout is $10,000 over four years. Next is the Dean Scholarship, which has an ACT requirement of a 20 to a 23. The SAT requirement is a 1050 to an 1189, and the GPA requirement is a 3.2 to a 3.6, which is a $20,000 payout over four years. Next is our Full Ride Scholarship, which is our Presidential Scholarship, and it has an ACT requirement of a 24 or higher. The SAT requirement is 1190 or higher, and the GPA requirement is a 3.7 or higher. And the payout is full tuition, room, board, and books. And yes, books are included in our tuition here at Miles College. So majors, we have 28 bachelor degree programs within six academic divisions. And to this list, we recently just added a concentration in our communications major and psychology. So the list of majors that we have are accounting, business administration, business management, communications, e-gaming, which is a video game design, science education, childhood development, early childhood education, elementary education, English language arts education, uh, education, I'm sorry, um, history and social science education, mathematics, music education, instrumental and choral, um, psychology, we have English, music, theater, criminal justice, history, political science, social work, biology, biology pre-med, chemistry, computer information systems, environmental science and mathematics. Now tuition. If you're planning to stay on campus, tuition is roughly estimated at about $19,254 per year. That price can vary depending on what dorm you want to stay in. But if you plan on staying off campus, that price will be estimated at about $11,000 for those two prices. Um, and again, they can vary depending on the dorm, but no out-of-state tuition is very important. So we are a D2 institution, we are um, in the NCAA, and we are in the SIAC conference, and we are the back-to-back -back 2018 and 2019 football and basketball champs. But for men's athletics, we have football, basketball, baseball, cross-country, golf, and cheerleading. And for the ladies, we have basketball, track and field, volleyball, cross-country, and cheerleading. So uh, one of the biggest um, things we have on campus is our marching band. The Purple Marching Machine, um, also referred to as the Miles College Band, has been thrilling audiences with their high um, energy performances for decades. Under the direction of Mr. Willie Snipes Jr., the Purple Marching Machine continues to grow and showcases his talent um, that Miles has to offer, not only in Alabama, but all over the country. So if you know anything about Miles College, you know about the Purple Marching Machine. They travel all over the country. Um, this band has been premiered in the Macy's Day Parade in New York, the Mardi Gras Parade in New Orleans, and all over the land. So if you ever get a chance, please check our marching band out on YouTube. Now, um, if you have any other questions about Miles College, these are all our social media handles. And on the right side, I have my information because I know this was a kind of limited time frame. So our email is admissions at miles.edu. On Instagram, you can find us at Miles College Admissions and at Experience Miles. On Facebook, you can find us at Experience Miles and Miles College. And at Twitter, you can find us at Miles College. And my name again is Tavares Hanley. I am the admissions recruiters um, for Miles College. My telephone number is 205-502-2926. My email is thandley at miles.edu. And our office hours are roughly about 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I make myself available even after that. So please give me a call, give me a text, give me an email, and I'll be happy to help. So thank you, guys. For allowing me to share. Great, thank you so much. So I'm going to share my screen again and we'll now move on to St. Andrews University. Hello everyone, how are you? I think I'm going to be like Kiani and just kind of focus on not so much on me but just the information that I'm sharing with you. So I am going to because I like to use my hands as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, thank you for joining us this evening. And hold on one second, let me get this. Okay, let's get started. So good evening, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Night Nation. My name is Shannon Valerie, and I am one of the regional admissions counselors for St. Andrews. I will be your guide on this virtual tour at St. Andrews University. And basically, the four pillars that you actually see will help you to understand a little bit more about the university. So the first thing I would like to share with you is, I'm sure most of you are wondering, where is St. Andrews located? It's located in Lorenburg, North Carolina, which is 
you're familiar with North Carolina or South Carolina, we're probably about 25 minutes west of the I Interstate 95. Laurenburg is a very small southern town. It provides the main street charm and embracing communities, which most of our students love that it's a small setting. But sometimes our students are excited about, mm, they want to get away and they want to see some other things. So basically they have Charlotte, North Carolina, which is two hours away. And we also have Raleigh, Durham, which is about an hour and a half north of Laurenburg. Sometimes the students decide that they love the outdoors. So bring some sunscreen, a surfboard, and head for Wrightsville Beach, or even Myrtle, north, Myrtle Beach, North Carol South Carolina. Both are under two hours away. But what if you decide you don't like the beach? Well, we have the fall foliage and apple picking and white water rafting. Sounds enticing, huh? These are part of the Appalachian Mountains and the foothills, which are also a little west of Lorenberg, but it's also up just a few hours away from the campus. A lot of our students want to know on their first year that they're actually attending school, can I bring my car? Well, the answer is yes. Bring your car, bring your fishing rod, bring your horse, heck, bring your skating board, bring your skateboard. Those are some of the amenities and some of the things that our students enjoy doing while they're on campus. Our campus is actually surrounded by 200 acres of Lake Center campus. So our students basically, we want them to feel not always around the academic environment, or I won't say that, but they are part of the academic environment, but we actually have our lakes that divide and is in the center. So we have like a causeway where our athletic and student life facilities are actually on the other side of campus. We have eight residence halls, which our students you can see sometimes there's not only just athletic dorms or um, just common students, but basically we try to mix it up a little bit so that they'll have an opportunity to learn a lot about each other. We also have 300 acres of St. Andrew's Equestrian Center. If you don't have a horse, no problem. We actually also have over 100 university-owned animals as well. So St. Andrew's is not a big campus. Once again, we are a little under 1,000 students with over 35 states represented and 26 different countries. This speaks to our global pillar. Today's marketplace is global and the college campus reflects such help to expose our students to different languages, different cultures, and actually to help strengthen personalities and them professionally. St. Andrews is a small campus. I keep saying that because sometimes people don't want the big campus life. So basically, it's built around true community. So for your first visit, you're going to see that support. You're going to see that close-knit, caring, loving family environment that I actually, before I even started, I saw the energy of all the faculty and staff and even the students because everybody knows everybody. Some of the things that our students get super excited about is that there is a 14 to 1 faculty ratio. There's definitely a hands-on experience and we actually have 22 different majors and 22 minors. Some of our popular areas of study are our business education and our life sciences, which are all supported by our liberal arts courses. Recent addition includes our Bachelor of Science in Nursing, a specialization in criminal justice management through our business administration program. And we also have secondary education degree, nine through 12 license here. We are also proud to say that our students have access to one-on-one -on -one career exploration and planning at all stages of their education, from helping finding jobs to basically um, job shadowing, resume writing, interview with um, like role playing, and basically helping our students to discover the purpose. Calling all athletes. Do you want to excel in the field, on the court, or in the arena, or even in the swimming pool? We are actually NAIA with 27 variety of intercollegiate athletic programs. We welcome your competitive spirit and teamwork. Our coaches are always looking for a high character and talented students to basically strength, strengthen our night nation. A couple things I do wanna share is that we also have our equestrian program, which we actually have from, we have esports, we have hunter seat, 
equestrian, we have Western dressage, and they're all a part of the IHSA and the IBA. I know a lot of concern sometimes is about scholarships. Well, if you're interested in finding out, just because we're a private institution, it's actually still affordable. Last year, we were able to award over $10 million in various institutional scholarships to help our, our students to discover their path. To learn more about our school, and we actually have 20 student clubs and organizations, so there's always somewhere for you to be able to sit at St. Andrews. But I also want you to know that if you're interested in taking a visit virtually or in person, basically if you have your phone during this virtual tour, you can actually just take it and scan one of the barcodes up there, and basically we're looking forward to being a part of Night Nation. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Let me share my screen here and we will now move on to St. John's University. Thank you. I'm just gonna get my presentation up real quick. Okay, awesome. So hello everyone, my name is Alana Ciccone. I'm from St. John's University. Um, gonna talk a little bit about our school as soon as the presentation decides to kick in. Um, St. John's University is located in New York City. Um, we are just east of Manhattan by 11 miles. Um, we also have locations in Staten Island, New York, as well as Manhattan itself. Um, our campus is a true campus. While we are in New York City, we are just more of a suburban feel in an urban environment. I like to say that we have the best of both worlds going for us um, because we are a true gated community. Our campus on our Queens area is about 100 acres with about 13,000 of our 17,000 undergraduates um, and the remainder would be at our Staten Island campus and our Manhattan campus. Uh, we keep an average class size of 35 so even though we are a larger institution uh, we do our best to try to keep that smaller school feel um, as far as what our campuses look like this is just kind of an aerial shot of our queen's campus on the bottom we have our campus out in staten island um, over in the top here right our manhattan campus is a simple building so you have options when you're applying to the university manhattan really is only specific to business program uh, we do offer a resident experience at St. John's. We have multiple styles of living. As freshmen, you get to actually choose where you live. We have a suite style option and a traditional style option. The traditional style would differ just slightly from the suite in that you do not have um, a common room. So you have two triple rooms that connect to a bathroom for the traditional, and our suite style would have a common room that connects to sorry, three to four bedrooms and two full bathrooms. We offer academic programs with over 100 different majors to choose from. Um, we also have them broken up by colleges, some of the more well-known or popular. We offer sports management, criminal justice. We have a six-year direct entry pharmacy program, which is very popular. Um, all of our business programs really have a strong reputation and what better place to learn than New York City when it comes to business being, um, having the stock exchange and a lot of the other um, opportunities that a New York City setting would give you. Uh, we do offer dual degree options. We have a five-year MBA track, five-year bachelor master's track in many of our majors. We also offer a three plus three program within our law school. So if students were interested in any law areas, they do have the opportunity to apply directly to the law school at the end of their junior year. Um, athletics at St. John's, we are division one. We have over 17 men's and women's sports. Some of my greatest memories as a student at St. John's was attending St. John's basketball games at Madison Square Garden, pictured above. Um, you have the opportunity to be involved with, through our Red Zone program. We also offer um, intramural sports. So if you're not looking to play a Division I sport, you do have the opportunity to participate in club or intramurals. Um, being D1, it is a recruitment process. So that is a requirement for you to be able to play. Um, there is contact information for the coaches on our website. We also want our students to be um, a community of students. And so 
our university offers over 180 different student organizations. So you have the opportunity to get involved early in your time at St. John's. Um, we're also an extremely diverse university. We're one of the top most diverse schools in the country. And you definitely have that diversity reflected right here in this photo. Um, we also want our students to get a global experience. So not only do you get the global experience on the campus, because we do represent over 120 countries within our student body, but you also get that global experience by having the chance to study abroad. So we have a campus in Rome, Italy, as well as Paris, France. Students have the chance to start studying abroad as early as freshman year through a seven day program. You also have the opportunity to do full semester programs in Europe, uh, as well as Latin America in Costa Rica and Colombia. So we do encourage our students to get that become global citizens, as we like to say. And then outcomes. We want to make sure that our students are prepared uh, for the real world. These are some of the top intern um, company, internship companies and employer companies that students have been able to secure jobs with, as well as internships. Our career advisors work directly with students based upon their majors. And so you're going to have access to that individual as early as freshman year. They're gonna be specific to your career path. Um, our placement rate is 94.3% within the first six months of graduation, both with jobs and grad school. So our students are really prepared and ready to go. It's also a lifetime membership. As long as you're a graduate of St. John's, um, you have the ability to continue to utilize the career services office after graduation. Um, for the application, you have deadlines like any other college. We are a part of the Common App. You can also find our application on our website. Both avenues are free. We do not charge a fee for applica applications and St. John's is fully test optional. So for all of our majors, students can apply without test scores. Um, if you decided to submit your test scores, the average was about a 1200, uh, ACT average was about a 26, and you're also considered for scholarship. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to stay in touch. I am your counselor, I will read your application, attend an event that we're offering virtually this year, um, and I look forward to hopefully helping you through the process. Thank you. Great, thanks so much. We'll now move on to Sweetbriar College. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Taylor Patterson. I am the Associate Director of Outreach here at Sweetbriar. We are located in Central Virginia. Um, as you can see, we're nestled right in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We are a women's college. We are intentionally small, so you have around 400 students total. So your class sizes are about 10 students per class. 99% of our students live on campus as well as a third of our faculty and staff live right here on campus as well. We have just under 3000 acres. So a lot of opportunities for research right here on campus. And we do have 130 acre equestrian center right on campus that I will talk about a little later. A couple new things at Sweetbriar this year, we have a 3-12-12-3 semester program. So you start your year with three weeks every day for those three weeks, you take the same course. And then you have your two traditional 12 week semesters and then you end your year in those three weeks. So those three weeks are unique because you can study abroad, conduct research with a faculty member, complete an internship or just take one class. We have about 20 undergrad programs to choose from. We also have pre-med, pre-vet, and pre-law tracks for you. Um, you have the option to design your own major as well. We have a Master of Arts in Teaching program. We have replaced our general education requirements. So the leadership course, 10 courses that you take over the four years that you're here at Sweetbriar that are liberal arts and sciences based. So rather than just checking off those boxes, you have your leadership core. We are one of two women's colleges that have an ABET accredited engineering program. Um, one of our most recent graduates went right on to work for NASA, another one's working for Boeing. So very cool jobs right outside of Sweetbriar. We have an academic resource center to help you with tutoring, time management, whether you need help um, editing a paper, that sort of thing. Those resources are free for you. 
90% of our students have jobs or they're in graduate school within six months of graduating. We have a very active alumni network. There's about 14,000 active alumni. So they are there to help you find jobs. So is our career services. We have a $2,000 experiential learning grant that you can apply for every year. And that is just $2,000 to be able to fund your um, experiential learning or an unpaid internship or your study abroad experience. We have over 20 student run clubs on campus. So they range from um, interest based to socially based. So lots to do on campus to keep you busy. We are division three. We have seven varsity sports, as you can see on the list. We also have volleyball and softball as club sports. Our riding program, um, we have a winning tradition. We have an equine study certificate to pair with your major. But the unique thing about our program is if you've never even touched a horse before, you can be a part of our program as well, up to the students who have been competing most of their lives. The application process, completely free to apply to Sweetbriar. We have an application on our website or we accept the common app. We are test optional if you have above a 3.0 GPA. Um, with COVID, if you have below a 3.0 and you have not taken your tests, let us know, we can work with you. Um, we read every application holistically. Your transcripts are required. We can accept an unofficial transcript. Your letters of recommendation and your essays are optional. Uh, feel free to send those in, I'll read those too. We also have free transfer credit evaluations for our transfer students. We are offering in-person and virtual tours. Um, since we have such small class sizes and um, such a large campus, we don't have any active cases. Um, we're kind of in the perfect spot. Um, I hate to say for a pandemic, but um, we have in-person visits Monday through Friday, virtual tours um, three times a week. The best way to sign up for that is through our website. I'll also say um, we do have a fly-in program and that covers the cost of your uh, trip to Sweetbriar. So whether you're flying, we can cover the cost of your flight and your one parent's flight to campus will cover your stay at our Elston Inn hotel on campus, and then we'll reimburse you for your driving as well. Um, such a beautiful campus, we want to get you here to see it. This is my contact information. Call me, email me if you have any questions or if you need anything, I'm happy to help you with the application process. Great, thanks so much. I'll share my screen again. And now we will move on to our last presenters, Talladega College. Good evening, everyone. My name is Quincy Nelson, and I am the admissions counselor here at Talladega College. I'm going to share my screen because I have a video I want to show with you guys. Hey Quincy, the sound is on. It's just a little in and out, just so you're aware. He's like, could you say the sound? The sound is coming through. It's just a little in and out, just so you're aware. Okay. I think it's just a lag with the videos that happen sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna video. Okay.
right, so I'll start sharing my screen. So just a bit about Talladega College. Talladega College institution rich in history whose mission is to equip its graduates for the global community through academic excellence, moral values, community service, and professional development. As I said, my name is Quincy Nelson. I'm an admissions counselor at Talladega College and a 2019 grad from our Division of Social Sciences and Mathematics with a bachelor degree in criminal justice. Talladega College is a private HBCU located in Talladega, Alabama. Founded in 1867, Talladega College is Alabama's oldest private HBCU. We offer a range of degrees stemming from our division of business and administration, humanities, fine arts, natural sciences and mathematics, and our social science and education. Our requirements to attend Talladega College require a minimum GPA of at least a 2.0 and a 16 on the ACT. We do offer academic scholarships and our academic scholarships start at at least a 3.0 and at least an ACT. Our scholarship deadline is May 1st. And some of you might have questions about our class size. Our class size at college is on average 22 students to one instructor. So we are a relatively small HBCU with a population annually it is right around a thousand, but it's grown consecutively over the past three years to our now record breaking 1,313 students that we have enrolled. Tell you, college has a graduation rate of 69%, and cost of tuition is roughly about $20,351 per year with no out of state fees. About 23% about of our students live on campus. 77% of our students live off of campus. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 23% of our students are from the state of Alabama, whereas 77% of our students are from out of the state. And we do have over 20 countries represented at our school. So we have a great, a great mix and variety of people from the U.S. world. About 91% of our students live on campus. And just a few facts about our on-campus life. We do have nine chapters of our National Panhellenic Organization and over 50 plus organizations, whether you like, whether you like to dance, sing, you like to draw, you like any type of thing you might be into. We do have over 50 organizations, like I said. And I see that my time is about up. So again, my name is Quincy Nelson. My email is qnelson at talladega.edu. I will leave that in the chat. And thank you for your time. Great, thank you so much. So to all our attendees today, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, we still have about five minutes. Feel free to put them in the chat. If not, you can head on out feel, and um, just hit the leave button in the bottom right. There is a quick four question survey that we'd really appreciate you filling out if you wouldn't mind. It would help us improve our programs and we're always looking to do that. A reminder to sign up for more sessions and another reminder that recordings of today's sessions will be available within about a week at the same website that you registered. So if you do have questions, feel free to put them in the Q&A to our reps. If you do get a question, feel free to just answer it aloud if you can keep the answer short to about 20, 30 seconds. Um, and I will go on mute and see if we get any questions in the next couple minutes. All right, I'm not seeing any questions just yet. So I'll ask one uh, to our reps. What is your favorite campus tradition that you guys have? Um, if you just wanna, when someone wants to start talking, we can go down the line. Favorite campus tradition. Well, I can start. Um, at my 
colors they have a dance that of the incoming freshmen. Um, and it was my honor to see um, the um, SGA teach the students the bear show. So it's a, a unique and um, um, different way to do the electric slide. Cool. Anybody else? Um, I would say at Sweetbriar, I'm also an alumna. So one of my favorite traditions was my during your senior year, you have a senior toast. And so the president of the college invites you over to the Sweetbriar house, which is where she resides. And we all have like champagne toast and, you know, farewell to the seniors. So I think that's pretty a nice farewell way to you know, say goodbye to Sweetbriar and your friends. Sounds great. Anybody else? Feel free I'll give just... mine. Um, at St. John's, uh, we do our annual Christmas tree lighting every December. Um, the university community comes together, but also our neighborhood uh, surrounding areas and alumni, and we light our Christmas tree and have a private fireworks show afterwards. So that's been going on for over 25 years um, at the institution and it's it's one that many people come back for. And I'll just mention something that for St. Andrews, um, it's been tr traditionally done that, um, I mentioned to you that we have over 200 acres and several of those acres are covered by lakes in between from the student life side and athletic side to the academic side. So once the student graduates, Basically, they cross over the causeway, so it's basically like basically like they're entering into their new into a new beginning, a new life. So they start over at the student life side of the lake, and then they cross over to the academia side um, for graduation. So that's been tra just traditionally done. I'll pop in um, at Kennesaw State. Um, two cool traditions that we have. Um, with us being a, a little bit newer of a university, we're still trying to establish those cool traditions like some schools have. We just established in 1963. But um, homecoming week is one of the best times at Kennesaw State. I think that we've put together a lot of great ones in the past couple of years in term, you know, with the addition of football and having a, a traditional homecoming week. You know, they always bring comedians. Uh, we've had some great talent come and perform. Um, like we had Meg the Stallion last year. Uh, Wiz Khalifa was the, was the performer my first year. We had Jesse McCartney. So we've had a lot of great performers come through. So um, definitely a big deal um, at KSU. And one that's a lot older when we cons um, consolidated with Southern Poly was the pumpkin launch. So for our first year mechanical engineering students, really any engineering student, that first semester they're taking an engineering class and they don't know nothing. They barely know anything. And the, and the end goal is to construct this this giant catapult to launch a pumpkin as far as uh, far as possible, and the community gets so involved. We're talking like, you know, close to over, you know over a thousand people at this event just to watch first year students launch pumpkins fail or launch them a hundred yards. It's you know it's a beautiful thing. Great. Did everybody answer? Because we do have to uh, to wrap this up in a minute. All right, well, if all the schools had a chance to answer, I'm gonna head out because it is about 6.45. So thank you to all our panelists today, as well as our attendees for taking the time to visit us. We appreciate it and enjoy the rest of your day.